Greetings and salutations. Today we'll take a look at the Axonic Amp from Groove Lab. So yesterday I seen on Resington's channel that Groove Lab had released their first amp sim, the Axonic Amp. So me being me, I thought I'd try this out so you guys don't have to waste money. That's my job, apparently. <laughs> as soon as I downloaded this thing, I was getting newer DSP vibes. Not so much from the sound, but definitely from the UI. I guess they do say that imitation is the greatest form of flattery. So it comes with the usual stuff. You got a noise gate, uh, a couple of drive pedals, the amp obviously, a cab section, but it only has two mics, uh, SM57 and uh, 421. I did notice that when you play the standalone version, you can't have it in stereo mode, so you can only have one mic, which is kind of irritating because I like to blend mic. You can use your own impulse responses, which I'd probably recommend with this because the cab section that comes with it doesn't sound the greatest. It does have some post effects. Uh, I wouldn't say they're neural DSP level, but they're not bad. They're not exactly, you know, fantastic. The reverb's a little sort of bland. Doesn't really stand out to me at all. So the biggest problem I did find was I have a pretty decent computer, which you can see sitting right here. Uh, I can run most programs. Uh, I have a lot of processing in my door when I'm doing mixes, you guys have probably seen that. This thing actually brought my PC to its knees. So uh, they obviously have some updates to do. Uh, I could only have literally, in the song you just heard, I could only have literally two instances of Axonic Amp in it and it was struggling, like really bad. I was getting pops and clicks and the uh, Reaper actually crashed a couple of times because of it, which I've never had a problem with before. Yeah, I'd probably wait a little while if you have any interest at all in, in this plugin. Um, but right now, as of this video, I would not recommend 
buying it. It's, I mean, at the moment it's only twenty dollars, but there's twenty dollars you could spend better elsewhere. I mean, even uh, Bogren has a big sale on at the moment, and it's not much more for say one of their BDA amps, which is, you know, they're fantastic. They sound amazing, really light on the CPU too. So. I mean, I struggled to get my mix done because I couldn't really listen to my mix that much because I'd get like, you know, 10 seconds into the mix and it'd start crackling and popping and causing me problems. So I just sort of mixed as best I could. So I, yeah, don't expect that mix that you just heard to be the greatest mix I've ever done, that's for sure. So my recommendation for the Axonic amp from Groove Lab is probably right now a big no save your money get something else or wait until hopefully they do some updates as always like and subscribe guys and enjoy indeed thanks guys